Hello, hello. So I have been using a computer with PFSense installed as a router for a couple of years because the old D-Link DIR655 didn't really cut it back then or right now because that router is from 2007. And the computer that I've been having as a router started to have some issues as well because it's from 2007 as well. So it's started to have issues with uh, random freezing and stuff and sometimes it wouldn't even boot up and it would sometimes even restart itself. So I think it has some memory issues or RAM issues. So I decided actually to get uh, sort of those home router boxes. And I was thinking of getting the Asus RT-AX68U. But then I was thinking I'm going to have this router for many years. So I want some a little bit more performance out of the router, especially the hardware. Uh, I don't really care that much about the Wi-Fi. It's more the hardware inside of it. So the 68U have a dual core CPU, 1.8 gigahertz. Uh, this 86U have a quad core, so four cores. And uh, the 68U also have a 512 megabyte of RAM. The 86U have one gig of RAM and you can see here it's using about half of it already. So yeah. And also over here you can see what ports are being used. So um, this, yeah, the 86U also have two WAN ports. So you can have like two different internet connections connected to it. And you can set it up, set it up as like failover or load balancing or whatever. Um, you can see that I only have one LAN port. Oh, it's five LAN. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the fifth LAN port is the uh, actually second WAN port. <laughs> it's called 2.5G. Yeah. Okay, you can actually use one of the LAN ports as a WAN port. Yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, uh, you can see I only got one port used here using one of them. And that's because my router is in a different room. So I connect to LAN, LAN port one and then I have a, a cable connected to a switch in my other room. And then I connect my computer to the switch. So that's why I only show up one connection here. You got two uh, USB 3 ports and you can connect like hard drives to it. You can use a like a 4G or 5G dongle connected to it as well. So you can have like a failover if the uh, your main internet goes down, you can use the uh, sort of wireless network. Or if you at, are at a summer cottage where there's no internet at all, but you can use your cell phone or cell network. Um, so what I did next was to go to adaptive QoS here. And I don't really use QoS. That means quality of service, which means that it will uh, prioritize certain traffic so if you have a bunch of kids doing stuff on the internet and downloading a bunch of stuff you can make sure that a specific server service will always get bandwidth and this geforce now was enabled um, by default is geforce now i think is the game streaming stuff and I don't mean Twitch, I mean that it's a service from NVIDIA that you sort of buy a game and that game is stored on a server somewhere. And when you're going to play that game, it will be streamed to your computer. 
So instead of having that game on your computer, it's, it's stored in the cloud. So you don't really need a uh, sort of a beefy computer to play the latest games. It will be streamed to you. I don't have this service, so why have it enabled? Um, traffic analyzer. Yeah, I haven't really done anything with this yet. I will probably do that later. Let's see. Was it here? Yeah, in internet speed. <laughs> you can test your internet speed on the router itself. Um, you can select the server here. I live in Sweden, so I have a server in Stockholm. And my internet connection is 250 megabit down and 100 megabit up. So it's pretty close to that speed. Uh, it's a fiber connection to my home, so I don't have uh, sort of those cable TV modems or whatever. It's just a little Ethernet plug on the wall in the wall, and I connect this router directly to it. I have a secondary internet connection, and that is con connected to, to the cable TV network. Um, and it's actually a free service that our landlord kind of pays for. But that one also have the uh, sort of converter from cable TV to the Ethernet. And uh, the ping, the latency, the ping is a lot better on the fiber connection because on the cable TV network, it's like 30 milliseconds. So it's, yeah. And I noticed a difference actually when I started to use this uh, thing. The web pages start to load a lot faster and stuff. So yeah, uh, otherwise USB application, uh, if you connect the hard drive to your router, you can uh, share it through the internet and stuff. I will probably just use the servers center and use it as a regular sort of a network drive on my own network. Um, here you can set it up if you got the, those 4G USB dongles or an Android, Android phone as well. You can set it up. Uh, Time Machine, that's sort of an Apple thing for the Apple computers. It's a backup feature. You can also have the router as a download manager, download stuff and store those files on the external hard drive. AI cloud, you can connect your cell phone to your internal network and stuff. I'm not going to use that. Uh, wireless, I haven't changed anything there except for the initial setup. You know, you, you set up the user passwords and wireless SSID and stuff. Uh, LAN. I went to DHCP server here and I actually enabled the enable manual assignment, which means that every time you start your computer, it will get the same IP address. And yes, I know that you can manually set that on your computer, but I reinstall my computer kind of often. So it's easier just to have it on the router itself and it has different names on different routers, but yeah. And it's kind of funny that I, in my desktop, desktop computer, I built it myself and it has an Asus motherboard and the router actually recognized that for some reason. So it added the uh, Asus icon itself automatically, kind of funny. So I guess if you have an Asus computer, it will show up here as well. Kind of funny and you have to enable this it's uh, disabled by default uh, nothing here else one port uh, yeah here you can set up the dual WAN thing so the router have one port that's called the 2.5g 
and it have sort of a yellow color I think and then the regular one port have a blue connector so I have my internet connected to the regular WAN, so my WAN port is the uh, primary. Yeah, 2.5 G WAN. <laughs> so it's a 2.5 gigabit WAN port or port. So you can have it as a failover, which means that if your primary internet connection goes down, it will automatically switch to the secondary internet. You can have it at load balancing, which means that it will use both internet connections at the same time for better speeds and stuff. I have two internet connections, but I want to have them separate. The second one is basically a public network for my game servers and stuff. Here you do port forwarding. If you have game servers, um, you want to have to uh, port forward or forward a port to a specific computer. You do that here. Um, let's see. DDNS. Oh, I don't need this. Uh, so, if you have a game server, uh, your friends need to uh, connect to it. And if they want to connect to it, they need to type the IP address to your router. And sometimes your router might get a new IP address from your ISP. So what you can do is use a service called DDNS. It's dynamic domain name system. Which means that instead of just having an IP address, you get a um, web address like, you know, google.com. And you can have, a, I have a specific name .ddns.net. And so, yeah, so if uh, the, the thing is that if your router gets a new IP address from your ISP, it will also update sort of your host name. So that, uh, yeah, the only thing your friends have to remember is that address instead of the IP. Uh, I, I have set that up on my other router because I have the uh, game service on that other router. And of course you have to enable that first and then, then you set it up. Apparently you can control your router with Alexa, the Amazon Alexa. Um, I don't have Amazon because here in Sweden we recently got Amazon and I don't really like Amazon's business model. So uh, IP version 6, which no one really use. <laughs> VPN, you can have your router as a VPN server. So people can connect to your home through VPN. Or you can have it as a client. So you can, uh, this router can connect to the other VPN services. Normally, if you want to have a VPN service, like if you use Netflix in the US or whatever, uh, you need to have a VPN client on each computer. But uh, with this, thing you don't need to have them on the computer because it will be on the router itself so your entire home will use that VPN service uh, it's kind of nice or if you have like your own business uh, an office somewhere and you can actually connect to your office network through your home uh, firewall I didn't really do anything here uh, administration, yeah, here you can set up the different modes that the router can have, operation modes. I just use it as a wireless router, you can have it as an access point, repeater mode. Uh, system here, I just changed the uh, time zone, because I live in Sweden, it, it was set to something else, like Netherlands or something. And also here you can uh, do the firmware upgrades. Uh, I turned off, I think it was the auto firmware upgrade was disabled by default and that's good because 
sometimes it might happen that the manufacturer send out a sort of a bad update and I don't want that bad update to sort of auto install. So I check manually. Here you can also save your settings. So if you've done a bunch of settings here, it's kind of annoying if you have to reset the router to do all those settings again. And sometimes it's hard to remember what you actually set things up. So you can save all the settings. And if you have to uh, reset your router, you can restore those settings again. And it's pretty quick. So that's really nice. Uh, system log, a bunch of logs here. You can also see here the HCP releases. Where, you know, which computer is getting what IP. So, yeah. Network tools, nothing here I really do. You can wake up, you can start computers over the internet or the network as well. I don't really use that. You need to set that up on each computer as well. So yeah, so that's kind of it. Um, kind of a new, nice to have a new kind of router. Because my other devices kind of suck. So now I also got a new Wi-Fi. So faster Wi-Fi. So yeah. That's it for now. So catch you later.